Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do an after-action report and gameplay video of Moonstone by Goblin King Games. So let's get started. Talked a bit about Moonstone lately in the last uh, couple of videos I've done. Moonstone is a whimsical fairy tale game by Goblin King Games. And what we're going to do now is show you an example of the game in play. This is going to be a, a normal um, two sides meeting game, two players. Uh, we're only playing three figures each uh, instead of six, which would be the usual amount for a regular game. That would be destined for a game between uh, one and a half to two hours long. Uh, but for the purpose of this video and because of the figures I have with me and painted, um, we're just going to be playing this three. There's cards that uh, that cause events or agendas. Uh, they come with a normal card deck. We won't be using those. It's just a very, very basic game showing you how gameplay works and to take you through an example of a, of a short game. So with that all in mind, let us go to the gaming table. We're playing with only three characters on a side. Normally, a one-on-one -on -one game would be played with six, which creates a game that is an hour and a half to two hours, so that's the intention. So this game should be a little bit um, quicker than that. That's um, what they do is they change how many players you play on a side based on how many players you have playing the game. You can play up to four players, but that's to keep it within that one and a half to two hour time. So the game begins first by growing some moonstones. And that's done by holding your hand above the table. The moonstones are all D4s, and we drop them. Just, just randomly drop them, and they're played where they land. The, uh, the number on the die determines how deep it is, which has to do with how many actions or energy has to be spent to harvest it. But the first thing that occurs before we play the game is that we have a chance, if we don't like the way those landed, we each will have a chance to call from Mulligan. So I'm going to begin by asking Carrie, do you, are you happy with that? They seem awfully close. Are they always that close? No. And you have used your first Mulligan. Okay. Here? They, they bounce better the higher you hold them up. They, the rules say they do it from 12 inches, but I have found that you get a better spread the higher it is. Now it's my turn, and I can either call for a Mulligan or not. Now, the thing you're going to look at, one of the things, obviously, where they've landed, these are all pretty centrally located. They can be all over the place. But the other question you want to look at is how deep they are. The number that's showing, like this one's a one, so that's only going to take one harvest action. There's a couple of twos, there's some fours. The fours are going to take the longest. You, that's another thing you might want to look at when you look at calling for a mulligan. Mm -hmm. If there are a whole bunch of fours, you might call another one mm -hmm. because it's easier to get. You want a nice uh, breakdown and spread. I'm not going to call them all again. I'm going to go ahead and use these. I think we're going to, there's a felt pad on this table, and I think it's reducing the bounce, and I think we're going to get pretty much the same effect either time. In this game, dice are the objectives in most cases, and not uh, used for determining the result of the mechanics of the game. The first thing we have to do right now is we have to decide who is beginning. So we both are going to roll a d6. And the highest stroller, which is me, I get to decide now whether I want to be the early bird or if I want to have initiative. I'm going to choose to have initiative. So the early bird chooses what table edge they want to come in on. Mm -hmm. um, over here. All right. So you've picked that side of the table. So you're going to begin by placing your first character somewhere within 10 inches. Okay. All right, now I place one. Now our table is a little bit bigger than it ought to be. The game is supposed to be played on a three by three table. This is a four by three. I don't think that's gonna affect us much though because we're playing on the three by three, mm -hmm. the three foot mm -hmm. side. So now you place one. A 
around him. Okay. Flintlock. Okay. I apologize. My bases right now are not flocked. Um, I am... Uh, <laughs> My uh, gaming group has done a really good job with some of their bases, and I was just gonna, just gonna simply flock these ones. And now I'm gonna use some fancier method, so I have to buy some flowers and some mm. better bases. And lastly, Baron von Fancy Hat. Now, what having initiative means by setting up the characters second, um, it means I start the very first turn with the initiative, and when we roll on future turns, this game is only four turns long, and I'm going to have the advantage on most of our rolls. Right in the cards comes with a nice reminder of the various actions that are available to you in, a, in how a turn, uh, how a game unplays. I've got the book open here, but in reality, we are almost never going to need to use the book. Between um, the card and its explanation of the game turns and what's on the cards themselves, it's usually pretty self-explanatory. So what we've just done is set, we've set up the terrain, we've chosen troops, we've selected the event and agendas. We haven't actually done that. We are not, that is an optional addition. And uh, for the sake of this video right now, we are not using the events and agendas. Uh, we've already grown moonstones, we've deployed troops, so we begin the turn. The very first part of turns would be the replenish step. And that's when you get the energy back. Mm -hmm. For each of your guys have a certain number of energy. It's these, there's little blue discs. On the bottom of the card where it shows your remaining health, there's little blue dots. And those blue dots, you get a, an energy token for each of the blue dots you still have. Mm -hmm. As you remove your life points, your, your hit points, you will eventually lose the energy that you get as well. Replenish step, and now we're going on to the second part of a turn, which is the activation step, because I have initiative. I get to decide to go first, and I'm going to start with Eric the Squire. Now, in most cases, you can just keep doing stuff as long as you want and as long as you have energy. It's a good idea to save some of the energy, because one of the things you can do if you still have some energy left is you can do reactions. So, Eric the Squire. Eric the Squire has some cool abilities that are mostly helpful for the rest of his group. Um, he wants to stay, though, pretty close to the rest of them to be able to have this uh, occur. Uh, any soldiers in his group receive uh, a plus to their melee. That, that would be Flintlock in this case. He's also got special things he can expend that will give additional things to the others, like increase their energy. And he's a medic. So the first thing I'm going to do is one of those. I'm going to do my hero. My hero costs me two energy points, so I expend two tokens. And what that does is it gives an extra token. In fact, because he's a noble, uh, I'm going to be performing this on uh, Baron Von Fancy Hat, and it gives him two extras. If I'd done it on um, on a uh, on anyone else, it would only be one. But if the target is a noble and Baron Von Fancy Hat is a noble then it's two. So that's so he does that, that's one energy. Now, the actions, we haven't gotten to a whole lot of talk about that. That is an action, obviously. The actions are step. A step costs one energy, and you move one inch, in most cases. There's a few characters that move more than that. That is what you have to do for movement if you're engaged, or if you're moving through terrain, things like that. And I say that because the normal move in the game costs no energy. You can only do it once in an activation, and it's called a jog. And in most characters, unless they're slow, a jog is usually four inches. A traverse, that's used for crossing obstacles like these walls. A traverse only lets you move one inch, but it lets you cross a wall or uh, any kind of barrier. And that costs two energy. A melee attack costs one energy. Activating ability it costs the amount of care of energy that's on your card. That's what I just did for my first action. Arcane ability, the same thing. And then harvesting costs one energy for one energy will change the number on the die by one. Or if it's already on one, expending one energy for a harvest actually picks it up. There are some exceptions. I think Doug the Flatulence did. I think it brings it up quicker than what I just mm -hmm. said. So I'm going to go ahead and move. 
I'm going to do a jog move towards that. Once anybody takes any kind of activation, anybody on the table who has it has energy, can expend an energy to do a step. That's all it can be used for is a step. So you could move somebody one, spend one energy and move somebody one inch right now if you want. No. That's, that's used more for like attacks. Like Doug, right. Doug has a ranged attack with his lance, which I think is three inches. Mm -hmm. And if he had closed to me and was, only, was three inches away from me, I might use that reaction step to get out of his range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, he can then use another reaction to follow me in. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a choice that's available there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and not save that extra one. Get a little closer. To harvest, you have to be touching the stone. So I can't quite get there. But I'm going to go ahead and spend all of his energies to at least get close by. So then you, act, you get to activate somebody. All right. I'm going to activate the midget. So you do a jog? I'm going to do a jog, and actually I can get to this one. All right, so I'm touching it. All right, so if you want, you can spend, uh, you can do a harvest. All right, how would I do that? You so spend a point, well, depends on what you want to do. If you spend two points, you can pick it up. Because it's at it's depth two right now. Okay. So the first point would bring it to, de to depth right. one. Right. And the second one would pick it up, because it would then be at one. The jog is four inches unless you're encumbered carrying a moonstone, and then it drops to two. But it doesn't matter how many, unless you're slow. If you're slow and you're already at two, it doesn't affect you. Um, and you can carry as many moonstones as you want, and it, you only suffer that, that negative two uh, aspect once. And, and you pick up the stone and put it by his card. somewhere that signifies that he's the one carrying it. All right, I'll put it by his energy. Yeah, under is usually a better idea because... You pick up the cards. Because of the signature right. move on the back of the card, right. you're going to be moving right. the cards. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move Flintlock. I'm going to move him four. Oh. Um, What's the range of his weapon? Twelve inches. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot my musket. That costs one energy to do. I have to mark a little thing on here that shows me that I've shot it. Because the musket is a um, once per game unless reloaded, which means I have to do a reload action to, to use it a second time in the game, and I have to do that every time I use it as long as I can reload it. So this is an arcane ability. We haven't talked about these yet. This is the first one being done yet. An arcane ability, uh, any magic or technology, the guns and, and shooting weapons, all use arcane abilities. So I'm going to get a number of arcane cards based upon his arcane ability, which is only three. Now, people defending an arcane always take six cards. Oh. Unless there's something in the abilities that say otherwise. Thank you. So I have to decide what card I'm going to play. The cards have various colors and numbers on them, and um, the shoot musket requires the card to be green. It has a green X on the card, which means uh, I, the card has to be green, and the higher the number of my card is, the more damage this will do to the opponent. And the, the vicious midget there is a particularly dangerous little target, and he's heavily armored, so I, I want to hit him hard. I'm going to put this card down, face down, and I'm going to say it is a green three. And my opponent has the uh, choice of either accepting that, in which case we treat it as a green three. I don't have to show what the card was. And we move on to the receiving damage. If my opponent believes I'm bluffing, she can call that bluff, in which case we expose the card. And if I am bluffing, then she can play a card on me. If I am not bluffing, I get to do this same move again using one of the two cards still in my hand, but without paying energy. Now, but I, you're I believe you this time. I believe you this time. And it was. Yes. So, so uh, shoot musket. Um, once per game, unless reloaded, uh, target suffers X plus two impact damage. So you take five points of damage. Your armor is going to stop some of that. 
Uh, yes, my armor is, uh, this is not magical, so my armor reduces that by two, so... So you take three points of damage. This is why I was saying I probably should have used Eric the Squire to give him extra energy, is I only have one energy left for Flintlock, and it takes two to load the gun. Um, so I could either move him, I could take a step action for one inch with the extra, or I could just save it in case I want to do something later. They do not save from turn to turn, so I will lose it. It won't be like I have four next turn. I'll start at three regardless. It would only allow me to do a reaction if I wanted to, and I don't think I need to because nothing, nothing he has can hurt me yet, so I'm going to go ahead and spend that one last and move another inch. What I mean by not yet is... Doug the Flatulent has a charge, which covers a lot of ground very quickly. But I think he's still way out of range for that. So that's the end of my second activation, and it goes to you. Okay, so Beaky Bobby, recognizing the midget's uh, value to the group, uh, has an 8-inch healing range. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely within 8 Probably. Well, I was going to use the regular ruler. Yeah, but, I'd say yeah. definitely. And I would like to heal him. That takes... Two energies. All right, so what's his arcane? Five. He is a wizard. Yes, he is. Given that Midget has a moonstone, and he's suffering a bit right now. And I get six, because the person fighting it always gets six. Now, this is an example. This is not really a fight. That spell's not being used on me, but uh, always when you use an arcane spell, there's a possibility for it not to not work. I'll use the three. All right, so we, you put it down face. All right, so that's four points. So you yes. heal, but you can All only three. heal up to the top. Right. So. All three. Come off. He's good again. Mm -hmm. He just has less energy than anyone else, so I don't want to lose any of those. Yeah, but he gets energy every time he hits somebody. Yeah. That's probably why they have him with only three and not. Yeah, he's a fighter. Not four like the others. He's a fighter. It's a real challenge between Baron Von Fancy Hat and um, Eric which one I want to activate first um, because they both have things that can help others. But I'm activating him now. He's going to move four inches. That's the free jog. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and spend three points to do three steps which means he'll move three inches closer to that. And that is the end of my action. Okay, I have one more. I've got him with Doug. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's just this because it's a four. Okay, so... And put it up to the front of his desk. Oh, okay. You're, you're shorting yourself some okay. movement if you put it on the side. All right. So he is moving towards. All right. Um, All right. But I could in one more. How many energy do you have? Well, he's got four. All right. So yeah, you'd you'd spend you'd have to do two jogs to touch it, which would cost you two more energy. But you, right. But you, I you could, could do it. Touch, yeah. I could definitely. Yeah. You didn't it. even have to measure it. You know, it's yeah, just over within an inch, two. So. Okay. So I'm going to spend two because mm -hmm. um, I think I'm still too far to do anything else. So that, however, is at three. So, but he has digging. When this model takes a harvest action, harvest action always takes ah, one. Okay. So it's costing you one. I am going to do that. Dude. So you would just flip the stop card. Okay. Which is two. Okay. So what's it at? It's, it's so it goes three. to one. So it goes to one. Right. And if you, if you still have another energy, don't you? I do. So if you spent that extra energy, you'd pick it up. I pick it up. So put. Okay. And I'm going to use, I'm going to react to that by spending my last energy point okay. to move Baron Von Fancy Hat an inch closer to that. Okay. Turn. And our first turn is done. And that's the end of the first turn. Remember, the game is only four turns long, so it's pretty short. So the very first part of any turn is the replenish step. So you get tokens back for how many blue dots you still have uncrossed out, which I believe for everybody is everything. Mm -hmm. We roll again the d6s for the initiative this turn. 
but I, um, because I had the uh, initiative at the beginning of the game, I get a plus two to my roll. Okay. So we both roll a d6. No six. way you can beat that. Um, oh, six nope. plus two. You win. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Two more gets it to me. And I'm just grabbing these little suckers. Flintlock's going to jog for free. He's going to uh, spend two to reload his musket. And he's going to spend one to pick up a moonstone. All right. That, those next two moonstones near me are both at four, which means they're, they're hard work. So I think he is going to step mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I think he is only one from there. He's not even one. So I know. Yeah. I was going to measure, but if you wanted me. No, but just, I think he's so close. Yeah. But he's got the best digging ability. Yeah, so. and if you get the right card, exactly, you might get three. Exactly. So uh, I want to harvest, so I just flip a card, remember? You spend an energy. I spend an energy to harvest. Mm -hmm. And, and I then just you get the top flip card. the next card. Which is a three. There's a three. So So that's at four now. So now it's at one. One. Yeah. Right. So one more expenditure and you've picked it up. That's it. I like this game. And he could do something else if he wants. I'm gonna activate uh, Baron Von Fancy Hat. That's gonna give me back power points for energy points for the the other two dudes. Not that it matters, except for reacting. That's what it's good for. I can keep running from you if I had to. Because that's free. That costs me nothing. No, I think... Can you jog for only one? Does it... I, I'm only moving an inch, but I don't want to pay for it if I don't have to. So I'm going to call it a jog. I'm going to harvest that stone. And I'm going to use my last one. To shoot at Doug. Ooh. I'm shooting at Doug. That's uh, two green. I have a pistol. Okay, I believe you. All right. It was a two green. Um, the pistol does uh, the number plus one impact. So that's three, and you're wearing armor, so it stops two, doesn't it? The shield... Oh, that's right. He doesn't have the armor. He has right. a shield. But the shield stops one for piercing an impact. Right. So it stops one. So you take two points of damage. Okay. Your turn. Well, I think he is again within eight. I could measure that with the big ruler, but I think it's pretty clear right now. Yes, he is actually... Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to heal again. It seems to me that's Beaky's job. So let's uh, let's do the uh, I guess arcane, right, for healing. Okay. So what is your uh, five. arcane? Five. It's a blue two. Okay. Okay. So that means it is X plus one. So he could solve three, but he only has two, so he takes them off. I hope you're not lying. <laughs> Me? I had no reason to think you were, which is the problem. No. All right, so I'm going to react on to do a step with Baron Von Fancy Hat. All right. And then, are you done with Biki? Um, I think Beaky wants to... He can move a point, right? One? Yeah, or he can move to a jog for four. Oh, he can still do that. He's not carrying anything, is he? No, he isn't. And he yeah. Jogs certainly... Jogs are free. Actually, he had to pay a do I think he paid two. Didn't he? Yes. Okay. Jogs are free. But you can only do him once in activation. Right. But now he's with the other guys. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. And I'm going to react to that by spending a point to do a reactionary jog. I mean, not jog, uh, step. step. And 
I think that's the end of the turn, isn't it? It is. So that's turn two done, flying right through the game. So the first thing is replenish. We get our get brought back up to our uh, whatever blues you still have. You have you healed everything? I have healed yeah. everything. Beaky is a good character for that. So now we roll again, and I have a plus one to my initiative. Six. One. All right, so I go first again. Definitely ahead. I'm going to shoot. Whoa. I'm going to spend a point to shoot Doug. Really? With Flintlock. My arcane is three. That's the problem with my guys with guns. They're not very magical, so their actual arcanes are low. Green two. Okay. All right, so that does four. <laughs> that told me you were bluffing. That does four damages. You turned over <laughs> all the other ones. That does four damages. <laughs> Four damages. Okay. Uh, he stops two because it's impact. One. Two. The shield stops one. Oh, that's one. right. He's only the one. It's the other. It's, it's the other guy. Takes. Right. So he takes three. Three. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's why I didn't say green. I mean, I didn't say three. Is I figured you might have a three. Exactly, and I did yeah. actually. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> well, that's I would funny. like to. I would like to have done the extra damage, but the idea, the fact that you'd have two greens was two green twos was right. less likely. Right. All right. Um, so that was his first thing. He is now unloaded. I'm just going to go ahead and reload. So that's Flintlock done. Doug can still... He jogs two, right? Because he's carrying? Yeah. Okay. Can I have the shorter one, please? That's the tiniest measuring device I've ever seen. It's adorable. Um, um, put it at the front. You're, you're the cheating front. yourself, right. putting it on the well, sides. Actually, it, it, well, man, it slides right between them. I know yeah, it's hard for think, you to see I on the you, angle. Except I think you knocked your character back when you were pushing okay. it in there. Okay, then it's right. Yeah. Okay, then I'm on. Yeah. And that is four again. Ugh. My little, my little puggy friend, dig. Card. Yeah, did you spend one? I will. <laughs> so it goes to three. <laughs> now here's a here's one of the challenges of this game. Yeah. That, that's is that of course if if you you're making it easier to get. I know, right? It's everyone. easier for you or me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's the problem with fours. All right, he's just going to stay there. That's all you're doing? For the moment. Did you have any power left? Oh, yeah, I got energy. You're within three inches of me. Okay, so you could charge if you want, but you don't have to charge to attack me. Okay. You're, you have a three-inch range with, the, with your lance. Oh. And you are at three inches. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm going to hit you with my lance. Turns I really should have used... That's what I would have done, yeah. Now what I don't... Actually, I would have reacted to your move. That's what I should have done. So that would take me out of the three inches. So you'd have to charge now. Or step. Interestingly, this has charged six inches, but I moved the model four inches. I guess because I'm using the lance. No, you have to have... You have to be within six inches of the target to use the charge, is what that's meaning. Okay. Which you are. Yes. Um, but your charge is the, the amount, the four inches. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then but I'm if gonna... I was, you couldn't even do it if I was. I'm going to charge you. All right. So you move four inches. We haven't done this before. So you move four inches. Okay. Well, right. It's base to base, it seems like. Isn't it? Yeah, now I could use another one to get away from you. Know, no. Well, you, if you want to go base to base. But it, I... won't, it won't matter. Okay. My range is an inch. So I could have. No, I'm back sorry. Only I'm sorry. Three. My range, my range is two inches. Okay. Um, but if you were, most people's range is an inch. So if you were at three inches, mm -hmm. you could hit them, but they couldn't hit you. Okay. But I'm not going to pull back because I can't get out of your range anyway. Okay. So this is melee. Your melee is what? Four. I don't have an evade. Do you have an evade? Uh, no, I do not actually. 
my melee is five. Because I'm a noble, within four, am I within four inches? Yep, I actually get plus two to that because of my squire. So, I am going to use a thrust. <laughs> That's bad? No, but I am too, but I'm doing it ah. as a critical. What is that? Um, that means it's going to double the damage I do. So, I do seven points of damage. Whoa, shield I'm stops, dead. Your shield stops some of it. So, six. Um, right? Right. So and I'm still dead because I haven't cool. been healed yet. I dropped Doug. So, I dropped my... Two moonstones. Yes. Yeah. Where they, he go, fell? they go base to base contact of him on ones. Put, it, oh. put the one out, the one down at the bottom because they drop onto the surface. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Now your damage. You did only. You did three. Right. Does your your lance have a plus? Um. If I deal piercing damage. Which it was. Increase the damage dealt by one. So that's four. Okay. My armor stops all non-magical damage by two. Okay. So I take two. Great. Now it's my turn. Who did I already activate? I shot. That was my first yes. action was shooting. You so I could shoot. move him now. So. I'm going to... I'm going to do field mer medic. Mm -hmm. Blue two. Okay, I believe it. All right, so I heal two points of damage. That's all I've lost. That cost me a point. Do I want to give Fancy Hat? I haven't activated Fancy Hat, have I? No. Jeez, how did he get so beat up? Oh, because I used, I did a reaction. You didn't move it. I did a reaction. Yeah. Yeah, so I do need to do that. I'm going to spend my other two points. It's pricey. It costs two points, but it gives him two points. That's Eric done. Okay. Um, am I within two inches of that one? Yep. Yep. So he's going to move his two inch jog. Mm -hmm. That costs one. No, that that's free. Nothing. That's free. And he is going to pick it up because it's a one. And that's going to cost one. So he picked it up. Can we contest? I don't see. It looks like you can harvest if you're engaged. And it doesn't look like there's any contesting. So I can't stop you from getting it. I can't engage you. Right. I mean, if I stopped you from from picking it up because you were fighting me. Well, no, because you wouldn't be. Your engagement range is probably an inch. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. So go on. Do go on with your turn. Um... I think I'm going to need those points on my turn, so. I'm thinking whether I should keep my points. I'm going to keep my points. So you're done? Do I need them to evade? You need them to do a reactionary move. Right. Evading is just an ability based okay. on whether you have an evade. I, I want to keep my points to do a reactionary move. That might not be a bad move because right. I have a two inch range on right. you. Go on. Uh, and now it's his turn. I'm going to do my free move there. Mm -hmm. Pick that guy up. That's only on a one. Right, because that's one he dropped. You are in the range of me. I'm going to spend one to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to uh, stab you. No! Oh. Uh, yeah, but you're tough. So I stabicate you. Uh, what is your evade? Minus one. And I'm still within four inches of my dude. So I get. Um, what does Squire give me? Plus two. So I get seven. Oh, but I can't scurry away now, right? Oh, you said minus one, right? Yes. I get six. Okay. Um, and your melee is what? Oh, you could actually. You could do. You could do. Before we do the melee, because yeah. my movement is what you... Right. I've actually done a move, and then I've done a harvest. Right. So, right. so you could actually... So can't respond, I around? You could respond to both of those. Okay. I, I'm leaving. All right. So I want to do one inch away. Mm -hmm. If you have two energy, you could respond to both of those. 
Could I? So I could get two inches away? Yeah, you would have done one the first time, then I harvested, okay. and you could have done a second. I'm going two inches away. Oh yeah, it does. I can spend, I can do my rallying cry, which is free. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Not that it matters much, but it gives me my he healing points, I mm -hmm. mean my energy back. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lose, use the reaction, my last one, to move an inch. Actually, is this a reaction or is this actually my turn? That, that was actually not a reaction. That's my, it's my turn. Okay. I'm going to move there. Okay. And now it's your turn. Now it's Beaky Bobby. Okay. Um, it's going to be a fight for that last one for winter. It is. If he jogs, mm -hmm. doesn't cost anything. Let me have right. four inches for so free. So he's gonna jog. Well, I see more than I want to be. You I'm don't have to. Do go three. I don't think you have to do the whole thing. I haven't been. Okay, I'm gonna go three because if I do three, I'm within two inches, right, of you. You don't want to be within two inches of me. Well, maybe I, you do. I don't know. I want a pulse. Oh, you might want to be then. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm going to pulse. Stand back mm -hmm. is his pulse. Yeah, what does it do? How does it work? Um, is it an arcane ability? It isn't. Uh, yes. So we need to I do the arcane. You get yes. five cards. Yes, I get five cards. And it is... And you need... Everyone within the pulse would move two, one inch back. And what do you or need? away. What do you need for it? Wait. Wait. Is no. It, it's, it's not, not a card. It's not arcane. No. It's in the middle. It is. I'm right. sorry. Terrible. That's why I was asking. Never have used it before. Sorry. Uh, I just do it. All right. So what does it do? Guys within two inches move one inch away. Stand back. Probably directly away, I'm assuming. Where's the... People within two inches, so it's only yes, him. Yes, it's only him. I'm assuming it's one inch away from you. Yes. Yeah, that's why I stand back. Okay. I suppose I could do another one. You got points. I do, but um, he has to be still be two inches away, and that's yeah, not going to work. Right. Okay. I could take a step, right? Yeah, for one, one point. But I don't have enough to get that thing. Vicious Bobby's never been in a fight. Vicious Midget. Apologize yeah. for the name of that, if anyone's offended by the, the term <laughs> Midget. Uh, I saw that on Gorilla Miniatures. It, it is the name of the character. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I, All right. I feel like I should, well, that's but the I'm... That's of that turn. I'm only making it easier for other people to pick it up. That's the end of that turn, right? Yes. So this is a straight roll-up. I lose my pluses now. Okay. So I got a... No, we uh, both got six. So we roll off again. One. You'll have it this time. So you get to go first. Yay! Uh, uh, we wish... do the replenishment first. Oh, yes. I wish I still had Doug. Yeah, you do. But Vicious Midget's nasty. Of course, he, he's never going to... He's going to have trouble getting to us. Four. But he's, he's not going to be able to get that up. Okay, who's the guy who has most of yours? Uh, Baron Von Fancy has, has his most. He's not going to have enough. He only has three energies. He doesn't yeah, have as much as the other guy. He probably can't get to me. Exactly. Because you'd have to use... You'd have to do at least two steps. The, the jog is free. Yeah, you could do it. You could do it. Because you would you would jog for free four inches. I did. You would take two steps. That would right. take two of your points. That would right. get you, and that leaves you with one, right? You have three. Yeah. You'd use the third one to hit. To melee. And if you, have, if you do damage, you would get a point back. Wait, 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 wait. I could do the place this model anywhere in base contact with target enemy. Where do you come from? That, that would have gotten you to him. It would have. Yeah, what's the cost? Two. Is it arcane? Yes. It doesn't save you anything, but... <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't, and it could go bad. Yeah. It could go bad. Yeah, but that's not a huge risk right now. So I think I will do the the two. Stop moving things Sorry. around. Sorry. <laughs> I think I wish I, I'll do the two. All right, so then you use your last one for fighting. Right. Your melee is... Oh, it's... It's oh, five. Oh, you keep forgetting the plus twos. It's five. My melee is good. We have forgot the plus twos in every round but this one. Plus two of what? Uh, whenever you're the attacker, you get a plus two. 
Really? Oh. Now I get a plus two because I'm near my dude, mm -hmm. and I would have been getting plus, you know, a, a, a plus four if I on my charges, on my attacks, like mm -hmm. the attack I did on you. And you, oh, do I have anything that does slicing? Your armor probably even stops slicing. Your armor is probably the same as my armor. It does. Yeah. It stops. It, well, it doesn't stop. It it reduces by two. Yes. Yeah, Everything. It's the same as mine. You know. Oh, you have the same. Yeah. Okay. So fighting really isn't much use. Okay. Thrust and rising attack. Yeah, that's a good okay. one for you. You can. Are you doing your signature move? I am. All right. I'm uh, doing a critical thrust. Okay. So again. I would normally attack. get two. Right. You said rising attack. Yeah. So I'm doing four with the weapon, five inches, uh, five points of damage to you, but your armor is going to stop two of that, yeah. so you take three. Jeez. Okay. But we have to look at your card to see what you do to me. Uh, not much. The back of your card. I know. So, so I did thrust, so... Two. So I take two, and my armor stops that. Great. I... I think this is all propaganda that this guy's so bad at. Uh, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. What does it say? How do you get energy back? Do you? I have to cause wounds. Oh, okay. but I did. No, I didn't. I didn't because the armor. Yeah, that's what I was trying to no. determine was nope. what word nothing. you used. Nothing. So I have nothing. Yeah. Cool. I have nothing. That makes me happy. Great. It's my turn, right? It doesn't make me happy. It's my turn, right? Yeah, it doesn't make his little heart happy. All right, I'm going to leave that back to you, because, you know, why not? Why wouldn't I? Great. Right? Yeah, I'm going to activate Baron Von Fancy Hat in his fancy hat. Mm. And I'm going to attack you. Didn't he go? That was the beginning. Oh. This is my first okay, action. Okay, that was your first action. I want to drop you. That'd be game-changing. It wouldn't be hard. He's so short anyway. I wouldn't even have to pick up that other one. <laughs> no, you'd be done. You'd be like, I'm taking my moonstones, go and get in a bud. Or now it's Miller time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't even been able to do my thing. But I don't even know. See, you have the advantage of knowing what my signature moves are, and I have and I don't no know most of yours. I don't know most of them. I know his. Because his is funny. You know why? His is, because his is the rising attack, because you're short. And then because you're short, it becomes an attack to my groin. <laughs> That's what it says on the back of your card. It's groin something. <laughs> they tried to give some thought. But like a bunch of my guys, the, the squire doesn't even have a real sword. His, his sword is made out of wood. Because he can't be trusted with a real sword. I do. I don't. Fine. I, why don't you put two down? Can't I use two also? Yeah, you bet you do one at a time. But it doesn't matter. They're the same. Right, but you do one at a time. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Because that's what I'm doing too. Okay. All right. Oh, that might have been good for you. Falling swing, however, is my... Master Strike hmm. is my, that's my signature move. I should have done High Guard then. Um, so you did Low Guard. It seems so obvious. Uh, so that's one, two. I do, because it's a crit, I do four. Because of the weapon, I do five points. Uh, you only take three, though, because of your armor. So I did, uh, so that's four for that. And then the weapon's plus one, so it's five. You stop two of them, so you take three points of damage. I'm dead. Here, Are you, you win. And there you have it. That's Moonstone. A very short game, but still an idea of how Moonstone plays. The um, it's not unusual, or hasn't been unusual, at least in my experience, to find games that are this close. And it had been close until the one character was dropped. The uh, with both of us having um, having three, it was going to all re revolve on who took the seventh um, seventh piece. Uh, there are, in fact, rules for that. If if the game is tied. Uh, it goes into a sudden death where as soon as one side or the other breaks the tie, the game just ends. It doesn't play out. If you've already done four turns, you go into a fifth turn or so on until that, uh, until that occurs. Um, but we didn't get there uh, because the, um, the character carrying all the, the uh, moonstones was dropped, leaving me 
the victor. Uh, I hope that gave you some idea of how the game works. I hope it may have intrigued you to look into the game. I, I didn't mention this on any of my other videos, but I'm going to mention it now. If you are interested in this game, this game is not inexpensive. Uh, the figures are kind of pricey. The, um, I find that's often the case. The fewer figures you need to play a game, typically the more expensive those figures cost. But what they have done is if you go to the Moonstone webpage, the rules are online, the cards are online, and there's paper stand-up characters, versions of the characters that are online. Uh, there's also a version of the game on Tabletop Simulator. So um, you could play the game and practice the game and see what you think about the game without investing any money, which is something you might want to uh, keep in mind and maybe try out. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you uh, have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments down below. If you already do play this game and you want to point out errors I've made, please do that in the comments down below as well, or any other comments for that matter. We also look for further ideas of further content we might bring you here on Cry Havoc Wargaming. So if you have ideas for that, please put that in the comments down below as well. If you've enjoyed this video and found some worth in its content, please hit like. And if you'd like to continue to receive notifications regarding programs like this or others that may help you better decide how to spend your money and time in your wargaming hobby, then please hit subscribe. Until next time, cheers.